woman is losing so much blood right after having a vaginal delivery. There is a medication to save her. The hospital has it, but she will not receive this life-saving medication if her husband doesn't raise the money to pay for it. Thank you. Thank you. This is in spite of the existence of the free maternal health care policy that declares the entire nine month journey completely free. Francisca Angel takes you undercover to expose the agony of pregnant women in hospitals, a pay or die phenomenon at the Kolibu Tichin Hospital, Kaneshi Polyclinic, and the Ga West Municipal Hospital, popularly known as the Amasaman Hospital. This is a part two of similar findings at the 37 Military Hospital, Mamubi General Hospital, and the Mamprumbi Hospital. This is the reality of financial struggle of the poor referred from the various health facilities to the premier hospital in Ghana. We begin this undercover work at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital to capture live this victim's ordeal as it unfolds. The premier referral hospital averagely records five infant and maternal mortalities in a month. How many infant and uh, maternal mm. mortality do you record averagely in every year? Two for the mothers. Babies, yes, about 10 or 20 in a month. What do you think that could be contributing to this high number of mortality in infants and mothers. Sometimes not assessing antenatal care early. Mm -hmm. Or yes, even sometimes when they are referred, they stay behind till in their critical stage before they, they come. So uh, not assessing antenatal care early. Have you never heard a woman say, Mini Sika, Mini They do. Uh, antenatal. Yes, sometimes they do. Sometimes they will tell you maybe the husband is not giving the fat or, uh, funds to go to the hospital, the partner, or they even start the antenatal care, but along the line, if they don't have the finances, they decide to stay behind. In spite of this, the hospital and its staff have placed barriers in the way of access to maternal health care. Pregnant women do not enjoy the free maternal health care policy in the premier hospital. We consider that antenatal health care is quite expensive, particularly here in Kali. Not if you have the health insurance, at least it helps. So over here, if somebody has the national health insurance, what would the person benefit? It covers all the services that she's giving him. Including scan, labs? You know, it doesn't cover scan. Some of the labs it covers. Here, antenatal care is given at two different units of the hospital the gynae OPD and the maternity unit. The gynae OPD only accepts pregnancies below 12 weeks and the maternity unit accepts pregnancies that are 12 weeks and above. It was found during this investigation that NHIS card bearing pregnant women were required to pay 105 Ghana CDs 20 pesos for a folder at the gynae OPD to begin antenatal and pay 17 Ghana CDs on each antenatal visit till after the 12 weeks where they move to the maternity unit. Yes, they said we should come tomorrow. So I just wanted to know how much it will cost. So that yeah, With health insurance. First time health insurance will not cover, but the subsequent visits. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you. The subsequent visits. 70 per visit. At the maternity unit, pregnant women pay some official and unofficial charges. 
The unit officially demands payment of some five Ghana CDs. <laughs> You are not told what exactly you are paying for, but every single woman attending antenatal is made to pay this amount on each visit. You are directed to pay at the bank and submit the receipt as proof to the nurse before you can enter the consultation room for your antenatal care. This payment is classified as antenatal maintenance fee on the receipt. Also captured was the demand for some payments by health workers directly to themselves without issuing receipts. These payments included 5 Ghana CDs as cost of covering the maternal health record book with a rubber. As well as the demand for the payment of 15 Ghana CDs at the counseling room after HIV, AIDS, HB, and sugar tests. Hello. Counseling room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Catch up. What's the name of the payments? Uh, oh, yeah. HIV, AIDS, HIV, 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 in a follow-up interview with Corruption Watch, the Chief Nursing Officer of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Mary Ander Ashan, she acknowledged officially charging the antenatal maintenance fee, but said it was a management decision. Pay only five CDs if you have the national health insurance. But if you don't have to pay 20 CDs, so at least you help you are helped some way. But uh, that five CDs, what does it cover? The five CDs are says for maybe processing, the papers and things. That's what they, they pay for. And they pay we'll do, we'll do it, yes. This hospital, the free maternal health care policy isn't working. Like I started by saying, here is a tertiary institution. So before they put in any measure, they seek approval from the central government. She, however, denied the knowledge of the five Ghana cities on official charge by the nurses. We noticed that um, pregnant women are being given some rubber to cover the book at a cost. Are you aware of that? That's why I'm not aware because we are not supposed to take any money from any patient and the 15 Ghana CDs taken in the counseling room. According to her, all tests conducted at the counseling room are fully covered by the NHIS. Okay. HIV is free. HIV syphilis is done freely okay. for all pregnant women. Uh, what about the HB? Uh, the hemoglobin level, it's covered by the National Health Insurance. So if the patient has, fine. She needed to pay. Oh, okay. Yeah. At the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, we were charged 70 Ghana CDs for an ultrasound scan. At the central lab of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, pregnant women covered by the NHIS are charged up to 142 Ghana CDs as cost of running the list of laboratory tests. So this, this and that. So you covers which one? one? Malaria. Malaria, sickling, and then routine arrears. It's two arrears. So which one are we paying? We pay for this. this. What's that? Which one is it? What does it? This one is just speed. What's that? Blood group. And you go to blood bank. Oh. Then you have the, mm -hmm. the antigen. The first one is forty. Um, thirty-one cents. What's that? Hepatitis B antigen. This one is urine arrears. Urine Ari. 49 is Jesus HBS. 
Yeah. That's a 32, right? Yeah. That one is how much? 31. 31. We will hurry. 27. So this money, the blood group is not fast. Hey. The blood group had like uh, 30 years. It's around 30 years. I don't I know it's around up. Wow. Blood bank is here. Is in front it? of this story, the two story building. In front this of one. Oh, yeah, we'll find out the price. Yeah. Then we put the rest here. All of them. If I don't, I'm saying HBS test. Blood group. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Pregnant? What time? Thank you. And uh, are you already down with 5 cities? 35 cities. But what was the thing? Oh, you yeah. 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 But we have insurance. Insurance doesn't work here. Wow. Like According to Mary and Dorishan, all those charges are management approved, and those approvals have the backing of the Ministry of Health. Magnitude of unlawful charges for delivery varied depending on how normal or complicated the delivery was, which informs what goes into the delivery. At the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, pregnant women with NHIS cover are charged 400 Ghana CDs and above for spontaneous vaginal delivery, while delivery by CS cost 1,500 Ghana CDs and above for NHIS holders. The premier hospitals appeared to have some similar practices like a strange phenomenon of NHIS not covering any drug in the pharmacy of the maternity unit. The difference though is, at Kolebu Teaching Hospital, important drugs are administered on the pregnant woman when it is needed and she is then billed to pay for the drugs during discharge. The hospital, however, gives prescriptions to escorts of pregnant women to make some other purchases elsewhere. Aside the drugs, lab tests and scans are paid for on a cash and carry basis. This investigation established that the Kolebu Teaching Hospital renders neonatal intensive care unit NICU services. NHIS holders are charged for the care. Every NHIS covered woman whose newborn is admitted at the NICU of Kolebu is charged a fixed amount of 410 Ghana CDs and 20 Ghana CDs for wipes. Despite having paid the fixed charge, lab tests and drugs are paid for on a cash and carry basis by the parents. Mrs. Adokobia said the practice is not right. During delivery, everything is covered. We continued this investigation at the Ga West Municipal Hospital. Staff of this hospital exploit the vulnerability of pregnant women and their desperate families. They see delivery as profit-making opportunity cashing in on the poor and vulnerable with strange and insensitive charges like other income. At the Ga West Municipal Hospital, popularly called the Amasaman Hospital, a scan cost 30 Ghana CDs. Dr. Eric Sapon Tiamwa, the head of the Ga West Municipal Hospital, said scans requested by pregnant women are not covered by NHIS in his facility but scans medically requested are covered. To have a scan done, it costs 25 CDs. 25 CDs? Yes. Is it supposed to be free or that's the... It depends. Per the National Health Insurance Package, mm -hmm. the first scan that you do, because that time it has not been confirmed that you are pregnant, it's not done for free. You pay. It's yes, so it's confirmed that you are pregnant. You're entitled to another scan which we also do for free if you come in voluntarily we will explain to you and then you do it at a cost some people come i want to know the sex of my baby this is not nhia approved so if you come in with such a request you will pay the staff at the scan room stated clearly that nhis is not accepted in her unit At this hospital, pregnant women are denied free laboratory tests. 
the group of lab tests requested at the beginning of antenatal, which are supposed to be free under the NHIS, cost 60 Ghana CDs at this facility. All other subsequent labs are equally not free. Dr. Sapon Chiamwa said NHIS does not cover all required laboratory tests. Hence, those covered are given for free, while the others cost 30 Ghana seats. The NHIS has bundled the services. We are on the bundled services. And routinely, there are eight labs that a pregnant woman needs to do. Eight tests. Some of the tests are covered by NHIS. As you said, a majority of the tests are covered by NHIS. Some are not covered. HB, it is covered. So if HB is requested, it is covered. For the full blood count, it is not covered. It's not part of the bundle. A test like hepatitis B, which is also a very key requirement. It's an infectious disease. The mother may pass it on to the child a key requirement it's not on the bundle gcspd is not on the bundle so we give the bundled ones for free and the, the ones that are not part of the bundle you pay a small token for it so for instance gcspd hepatitis b and then full blood count the fbc we take a token of 30 cities Dr. Chris Opokufofie, head of Safe Motherhood Program at the Family Division of the Ghana Health Service GHS, states that the GHS is actively working according to the free maternal health care policy which is binding on these health facilities. The position of the service is that all that is illegal and should not be condoned. We are promoting access under the universal health coverage and we want as many of our women to access antenatal care. So once you say you are pregnant, the doors are open for you. So anything that is done as a barrier to put a hindrance in the way of our pregnant women is unacceptable and we don't really sanction that. This hospital also makes available the drugs at the antenatal unit. These drugs are given for free. Some drugs are also paid for. At the Gang West Municipal Hospital, despite the facility officially claiming that both spontaneous vaginal delivery and caesarean section are free, this investigation established that delivery is not free in this hospital. Two, <laughs> Okay, Metro <laughs> 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 
Pregnant women are required to budget for more than 500 Ghana CDs to take care of the cost of delivery, drugs, lab tests, charges like assessment, other income, discharge and world fund among others. The most critical health needs are paid on a cash and carry basis. We concluded the investigation of the six health facilities at the Kaneshi Polyclinic. This facility officially charges pregnant women 35 Ghana CDs for ultrasound scans. This amount is paid each time a scan is medically required. <laughs> The medical director of the facility, Dr. Stella Jamfi, admitted charging for scans, but she said she was not aware that scans were part of the free maternal health care entitlement. We with the, the scheme, we've had conversation with the scheme and they did not tell us that free uh, scan was part of the, uh, the package. Okay. So they've been paying. Mrs. Vivian Adokobia, Deputy Chief Executive Operations at NHIA, disagreed with the claim, adding that there was no justification for claiming lack of awareness. About 90% of the IGF is from the National Health Insurance. So most of them, they take interest, so they know what the benefit package entails. You'll be given the operation manuals, you'll be given the medicines list, you'll be given the, uh, the claims, I mean the tariffs, you'll be given. So uh, I, I, I don't see any reason or justification for somebody to say that I'm not aware. Dr. Chris Fofie, GHS, details, laboratory tests required during pregnancy and the NHIS entitlement. The full blood count, fasting blood sugar, yeah, this is PD. Which of them is covered by the National Health Insurance and which of them is not? All of the tests are covered by health insurance. All the tests? All the tests, the basic ones. The ones that are not covered by health insurance are uh, specialized tests like uh, Genetic test. HD test is yes. covered. It's covered by health insurance, yes. The sugar level? Yes, all that. It's covered? Yes. Routine exams, is it urine? Yes. It's also covered? Yes, yeah, it's also covered. Then routine exams too? Yeah, the stool area is also covered. It's also covered by health insurance? Yes. Hepatitis B. Is it covered? Yes, it's all covered. At the laboratory of the Kanishi Polyclinic, the staff frequently announced that some of the compulsory tests pregnant women are required to undertake are not covered by NHIS. Hence, 
all pregnant women are required to pay 40 Ghana CDs for the tests not covered. Dr. Stella Jamfi disclosed that all lab tests are conducted for free for pregnant women as required by the policy. Fasting blood, they do fasting blood, sugar, they do VDRL, they do urine RV, they do stool RV, they do blood group, they do sickling, they do GCSPD on NHIS and they don't pay a dime. NHIS have approached that several times to clarify with us about lab. Okay. Uh -huh. So the lab are done free. Since when? Since I came here, at least. Three Since years. I came here and then the, the lab in charge also was transferred in a few months after I came here. Okay. Yes. It's completely free? Yes. However, the head laboratory technician, Ebenezer Nku, responded to the contrary. His response confirmed the findings of this investigation, which is the payment of 40 Ghana CDs. In charge made us aware that um, since three years ago, the lab test for pregnant women has been completely free. Is that so? Yeah. Completely? Completely. Unless other tests that health insurance does not cover. The list of tests mm -hmm. given to the pregnant women by the midwives, are there any of them that are not covered by the National Health Insurance? Yes, hepatitis B. Okay. That one they pay 10 CD for. Which other one? And then they pay for full blood count. Okay. The rest are free. They are covered under the health insurance. The pharmacy of Kaneshi Polyclinic makes claims of non-availability of drugs covered under the free maternal health care policy. Drugs that pregnant women are made to pay for are however always available. They refuse pregnant women drugs like folic acid, a drug used to treat or prevent folate deficiency anemia, help unborn baby's brain, skull and spinal cord develop properly to avoid development problems, birth defects, and miscarriage. The first and second one, it doesn't come. We don't have the first and the second one, it doesn't come. The first one is coming. The first one is filling. The second one we have, it doesn't come. And Pato, how much is that? 13 cents. Although the pharmacist claimed folic acid was not available, the medical superintendent disclosed during an interview that the facility had enough folic acid in stock from September 2019 till date, an indication that at the time of our investigation, the facility had folic acid, but the pharmacy failed to give them out to pregnant women. I called the pharmacist at home and asked him which one of the uh, hematinics for the pregnant, pregnant women were available because I was told because the framework issue some of them. Then he, he gave me this. That from 2020 to date, personate has been available at the pharmacy. From September 2019 to date, folic acid has been available at the pharmacy. And then Multivite 2 has been available from, it has never even run out to date. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. So they have been there. What we encourage uh, mothers or uh, uh, subscribers, what we encourage them to do is that they should insist, they should insist that if you are charging me for this, I need a receipt. In that case, what should, should she use a receipt for? We have uh, the... You should report to us. We have the numbers that you can call. And we have people who receive the call. Then they will follow up. Or you can also follow up. We have recovered some monies and given back to people. We have recovered monies and given back to people. They are not supposed to be charging. It is a worrisome situation. So uh, I, I think we all have to come together and fight this. It is not right. SDG Goal 3.1 targets the reduction of the global maternal mortality ratio to less than 70 per 100,000 live births by 2030. It further aims to end preventable deaths of newborns and children under 5 years of age 
with all countries aiming to reduce neonatal mortality to at least as low as 12 per 1,000 live births and under 5 mortalities to at least as low as 25 per 1,000 live births. According to the 2019 UN Interagency Group for Child Mortality Estimation, UNICEF, WHO, World Bank, UN DESA Population Division, the infant mortality rate of Ghana is 34 deaths per 1,000 live births and Ghana's maternal mortality rate is currently 308 per 100,000 live births according to the GHS. Although the infant and maternal mortality rate has been declining since the introduction of the free maternal health care policy, the margin of decline hasn't been different from the margin of decline in the years before the introduction of the policy. For Ghana to meet the SDG Go 3 target, the policy from latest as well as those at the point of service delivery must ensure that the free maternal health care policy is made to work fully to remove barriers and expand access to maternal health care. Francisca Angel's report.